Hello, and welcome to your fifth C++ lesson on variables and constants. First of all, for some reason I get this a lot, don't mix them up with vowels and consonants, because they're completely different things. Uh, variables and constants. Okay, so a variable, we've been using variables up to this point in loads of different programs, but I'm just going to go over them fully. So, let's just do iostream. I'm going to say standard. Our main thing. System, oops. System pause, return zero. Okay, so you should get all of that. Um, basically, variables, if you didn't already know, are like little boxes with stuff in them. So, and you can change the stuff in the box. So, let's just create a new int. So, this is a variable integer, because int stands for integer. So int, and then the variable name, which we're just going to say var1. And they are case sensitive, by the way, so var is different to var. I'm just going to call it var1. And we just go equals 7. Now, what we're doing here is it's called the declaration, is this bit. And then the initialization, oh, I can barely say it, is this bit where we set it to 7. So the declaration is actually saying, okay, int is called var1. And the initializ ugh. You know what I mean. Initialization um, is setting it to seven, so it's setting it equal to seven. Uh, we can do this separately if we're just going to go int var one and then var one equals seven. So that's that in two steps. And you can also change variables if you wanted to change a variable in a certain situation. You can go, you know, if whatever var one equals seven. So it's all pretty good. And that's variables. Um, we're going to go into variable types at the end. First of all, I'm just going to quickly com <coughs> quickly explain constants. So constants are basically like variables, but you have to initialize them when you declare them, and you can't change it. So constants are values that stay the same. So to declare it's a constant, we write const, then our variable type, so int in this case, then our variable name, so let's just call it var1, and let's just set it to 7. So before, yeah, we would have been able to do this in two steps. We can't do this now. That's just not how it works. So I could go... I'll just give a quick example. So it's going to output var1. And then what we're going to try and do is we're going to go... var1 equals 7. No, sorry, 4. So we're changing a const, and it shouldn't let us do this. There we go, we've got an error. It says var1, you cannot assign a variable that is const. Sorry, you cannot assign to a variable that's const. But if we just take out this const, then it should compile fine. There we go, now it said 70. 74? Oh, that's because I forgot to add in. Well, you get the idea. It basically meant 7 and then 4, but I forgot end line. So, that's pretty much actually what they are, but you get many different types. See, int can only hold whole numbers, like 7, 3, 59, you know, all sorts of different numbers, um, but only whole numbers. Um, so, instead of this int here, we can replace it with loads of different things. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned the char before, I think I may have done, um, but a char can only hold one letter, so A or B or C, so I could say char var1 equals... There we go. Char var1 equals a, or char var1 equals... Actually, no, sorry, you need to put them in little quotes. Char var1 equals a, and you have to put them in single quotes, by the way. I think that's a mistake I made in the previous lesson. I accidentally used double quotes. Um, so we can go a, b, you know, z. And that's a char. And then we also have... What else we have? Double and float. There are differences between these two, which I mentioned on the site. It's a 3.4, and have a decimal place. And then we've got float, which is pretty much the same. We could set that to 3.7, you know. Then we've got strings. Now, strings are pretty much the big one. Uh, we do need another include, though. I think that's it. I always forget. And we've got string string one 
Because you notice string doesn't come up in blue. This just is because it isn't the default thing for some reason. Um, just go move. And then see out string. Yep, there we go, it's just hello. So strings are big because they can hold basically any I could type in uh, that and a string can hold that. Uh, as with chars, you'd have to do char one, char two, char three, and go all the way up to whatever letters I've got here. So strings are really useful and they're very good. If I remember correctly, I think C in um you can C in I think um stores its results as strings. Strings amazing. Uh, double char. Uh, bool. A uh, bool's pretty important. Uh, basically, true or false. So bool var one equals true, or var one equals false. But you'll notice it doesn't output true and false. It'll output one or zero, like so. So zero because we've done false. Zero. In my C plus, oh wait, no, you won't because it's much later. Well, if you look at my C plus plus lesson on number systems, it's more of a theory lesson, so you don't need to know really complicated C plus um, plus. You'll see that the zero and the one does refer to binary digits. A lot of you probably know about binary. So, bool, char, double, float. Basically, they're all good for different purposes, and that's what variables are all about. So, um, also, if you didn't know, you can make const of these, so I can go const char or const float or, you know, const string, and they're all going to work. So, basically, this is just a quick recap of what we've done and uh, showing you variable types and pretty much how to use them. Um, also, just to quickly tell you, if you're going to do something like a char, so char char1 equals a if you can do it like that, in the if statement, if you're going to compare it to something, you say char1 equals equals and then you have to use the single brackets to compare it as with a string, I haven't actually got a string include but you know what I'm going to be talking about so if I wanted a string abc, I'd say I have to use the double quotes and then with integers you don't have to use any quotes so that's pretty much the end of this very short variables lesson uh, you know mess about with variables see in if statements you know it's all good um, you'll have great fun with it and they're extremely useful you know massive massive programs it's all based around variables and constants so as I said that's the end have a nice day